What is up, guys, and welcome back to Animation Station. Uh, we did prepare two more scenes, so we have scene four, and we also have scene five, and we're just going to break them down and look at them, and then I've already taken the liberty and added them to the animation we already have so far. It's always good to look at everything as a whole uh, every once in a while, just so that we can see exactly if, if the animation flows nicely together. So let's take a look at the uh, at what this looks like. This is the character, the robber one. Uh, that's what I've called him. I haven't really given him a name. And he's going to be talking for the very first time. So you can see here, if I press play, there we go. So we got his lips moving. That's great success. He only says a very short phrase, which you'll see in a second. Uh, and then right after he says that phrase, he looks away and he looks back down on an angle, as you can see here with his eyes, to the rear view mirror. And in this rear view mirror, we have uh, the police cars, we have a few buildings whizzing by, and this little yellow divider line also moves, and there it is. So you can see that's what he's looking at. Perfect. All right, so before we uh, dive in and just see what it looks like with the uh, words in it, I just wanted to break this down just a little bit for you guys so you can understand what was done here because as complicated as it looks it's quite simple so uh, let's start by just kind of getting rid of everything that we're not looking at so let's start at the back yeah let's start with the background background is on a loop and it literally just goes into different colors you see that because this is behind the window so you're actually not seeing a whole lot what's going on but when your car is driving really fast by things you don't really get to see a good picture of what it is okay so the background super simple next thing let's take a look this is uh, i call it b3 because it's still a part of the background the b3 is the window so this would be the window as you can see the opacity is uh, a little bit lower so things behind it can kind of shine through and that would be so that you can see that shine through, which is the other background we just discussed. Then we have the glare. So the glare is, sorry, we'll take this off here, the onion skin. The glare is just literally going by the window. You see that? Kind of making it um, come to life a little bit. And this glare is a loop. So I've only drew two of them, and then I just copy and paste, copy and paste. Okay, super simple. And then we have the, the roof of the car. So the roof of the car, very simple, doesn't move, doesn't do anything, but is there just for cosmetic effect. Uh, then we're on to our character who does talk. And I want you to look at this real quick. So we have the first pose, we got the second pose, third pose, fourth pose, and then you'll notice some of these poses, all I do is recycle them. They're just copy and pasted. So I don't draw them all kinds of times. I only draw them a handful of times, and then I just copy and paste, okay? Because he's just talking. A lot of, uh, I mean, obviously, we do use a lot of face gestures when we're talking, but that's where all the shading comes in nicely. It makes the, the light reflect off of his face to make him still look like he's in the car going, okay? And then lastly, we got the gun. Gun, super easy. Basically, I only had to draw it once. And uh, oh, it's not showing it. Oh, there we go. Only had to draw it once. And it just goes up and down on a loop. Now, it's not technically a loop because all I did was I adjusted it myself every time because I was going for a certain look. I wanted it to look natural. As you, it, you know, the car would be driving, the gun would kind of be bobbing a little bit, and he would be balancing that out with his hand, as you can see there. Okay, so super, super simple. If we hit play one more time, you can see what it looks like. And uh, we've already added the words in. I basically exported these like I showed you before, put, it in, put them into Filmorama, added the words on, and then exported from there as well. Um, let's take a look at scene five really quickly. We're not going to spend too much time on this. This was very simple. Uh, it's the same concept. The difficult part about this was 
nothing nothing was difficult i think this took me like 20 minutes uh you know what it's a misconception that a lot of these animations can take a lot of time obviously they do they do take a lot of time and effort but you know what you can have a lot of fun if you know how to use the technology to kind of speed up speed up the process like for example these police cars were we don't need to see exactly what's going on all i did was put two little black dots a little couple white blobs and a couple lights and then we have these buildings they're going to be moving so fast you're barely going to be seeing them so they're just whizzing by and then the little line so we basically want to dumb down what we're doing to get the simplified version of how to do the animation the simplest okay all right so let's just take a quick peek at uh, what it looks like completed if you are following this series um, i appreciate your support uh, it's we're just gonna literally keep continuing scene for scene. We'll see how far it goes. Uh, uh, it'll be pretty exciting. Oh, don't forget. So there's the first scene. We got the second scene right here. Third scene here. Your boss guaranteed me a clean escape. I hope you know what you're doing, bud. Perfect. That was awesome. Let's just see that last part again. Uh, your boss guaranteed me a clean escape. I hope you know what you're doing, bud. All right, one more time. Your boss guaranteed me a clean escape. I hope you know what you're doing, bud. <laughs> nice. So uh, that's pretty exciting. I really want to tell you what's going to happen next, but you know what? Hit that subscribe button, click on the bell, and then uh, you guys can follow along. And uh, it's pretty exciting when you get to see your work come to fruition uh, and come together. It's just beautiful. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I could literally watch that over and over and over again, but it's just because I did it. Make sure you, if you are interested in animation, download Krita. It's completely free. That's why I love this platform. Completely free. I am noticing that with the animations as long as i keep them a little bit smaller uh krita seems to move a whole lot smoother so if anybody's having a problem with lagging maybe just do use less layers keep it as simple as possible and it still seems to work just fine okay until next time thanks so much for watching you guys take care enjoy your day cheers bye